Hi everyone. So, my name is Ellie and my first video on this channel was saying what my channel was going to be about and basically like what sort of videos I was going to do. <clears throat> so I thought that you see everyone on YouTube on the channels they do a wide mixture of different videos and you get to know them through the course of each video they do like they do story times like every once every like but I thought that why not when I start do a couple of like story time get to know me videos so that you know my sort of personality you know who i am basically before i start doing other videos so this video is going to be about me um some facts about me and about like a few little stories that off the top of my head so my name is ellie and i am 17 years old i am currently living at home and i'm currently in my bedroom um i am studying at the minute um i'm doing a levels and i'm doing biology psychology and health and social uh yes it is hard but i do enjoy most of it so yeah i have i ha my hobbies are basically hanging out with friends um and basically surfing the internet to find cool stuff and basically my life revolves around youtube that is why i've decided to start a youtube channel so this is a story time and there, will, there are going to be other story times along the way but um, some of them that I can well it's not really a story time it's sort of a part of my life that I wish I had not gone through but I did and it's made me the person I am today so I thought why not start off with this so one of my closest friends well she used to be we had known each other since we started primary school and we'd been friends for all that time up till couple of like I think a couple of months ago I think it was and yes we had some falling outs but we'd always make up in the end eventually and because we had been friends for a very very long time she was one of my closest friends and we always used to hang out every single weekend um, and we used to go to the same schools and basically did mostly everything together and then she started to change and me and my other friend who were very very close as well we were all friends we both started to notice that she her she would not come out as much anymore and she used to have weird like episodes where her complete her at like her personality would completely change in like a second and she didn't well she was at school and when she was at school she was completely fine but whenever you'd speak to her on the phone or speak to her over messages there'll be some parts and you're just like what is going on and um, we found out that she was going well she had very 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 bad depression and 
she had some other mental illnesses going on at the same time which obviously weren't helping and we tried to be there for her for ages like saying we, we're here for you if you need help just talk to us um, like come out with us come just stay with us and don't even think about it but it was getting very very worse and she had tried suicide and it affected me a lot because I was her clo one of her closest friends and it was just sad to see how someone who had used to be so bubbly and used to always come out had gone like become that bad um she had been admitted to hospital because of her suicide when and she was then she then came home and her she started self-harming again like she'd she'd done it loads before but it's got very bad and then she had been admitted to a mental hospital and I think it has changed me even though I shouldn't say this but it's changed me for the better because even though we don't talk anymore because we had a falling out and yeah it changed me because I now with my friends that I have now still some of the ones from the very beginning I'm more caring towards them when they come up to me and need any help and I'm I always say to them like right you know I'm here if you want to talk about anything or you need help with anything you know that I'm going to be here and to listen and basically like I'm just there to listen to them if they just want to rant to me or anything and yeah and they know I won't judge them on anything like if they want my advice then I will give it to them and like my, some of my friends have recently or one of my friends that recently like talked to me about like her life problems going on and I can't judge her for it because it's her own life and I know if I talk to her about stuff I don't want her to judge me on my decisions of what I've done because <laughs> I've done some pretty weird things and bad things so I'm just putting it out there like if you if you see anyone going through something or know something going on you just got to remind them that you're going to be there for them and you want to help them get through whatever they're going through whether it's mental illness or depression or just something really small like boy issues it's it's always good to have a friend there like I know that I've been haven't been through depression but when I've been feeling really sad and when something's happened and you feel so lonely it's so nice feeling that your friend is just a phone call or a message away and you can message them and they will apply like being there for you so um, I just want to remind you to be a good listener and be caring towards others even if you're not even that close to them if they've got no one else to turn to that's when it gets bad because they think oh there's no point living if there's going to be no one there for me so I just thought I'd say that and 
give a good message and let you know on my life so yeah like comment and subscribe to my channel so that I can post more things like this and post like obviously not as serious things like funny challenges with my friends or so yeah bye